the Digital Aquatics Reefkeeper SL2 module is new on the market. We just received ours, so we're going to give a quick look for the people who might be considering it and need some questions answered about what it does. The Reefkeeper SL2 module measures temperature and pH. Keep in mind that the temperature probe compatible with this module is not the same as the iTEM probe that comes with the Reefkeeper Lite. You will need to purchase a separate temperature probe from Digital Aquatics. This is useful if you want to measure different tanks or a tank and a sump and have independent control of two different places. There are two non-powered switch inputs. If you are thinking about a project which requires switch control such as an automatic top-off, these ports will help you accomplish that. The SL2 also has a new event trigger in the firmware that allows for a timed event to begin once a switch has been triggered. You could have a float switch turn on one minute of pump operation, for instance. If you have a reverse osmosis water storage tank and a top-off tank, you can measure the depth of the makeup water, and when it gets low, you can transfer by pump from your storage to your makeup for just two minutes. This would give you a fully hands-off implementation of water management. This is just one example of something you could do with a switch trigger. Keep in mind this port is completely unpowered. You cannot have any voltage present at the switch inputs. It can only be the opening and closing of a switch. For your own projects, you will need to have either a switch adapter kit, which is a cable containing the plug adapter for the socket on the SL2, or in the case of a float switch, you would need to buy the Digital Aquatics float switch kit, which includes that adapter. See our float switch video if you need more information about the Digital Aquatics float switch kit. The SL2 is a module only. None of the switches, adapters, or probes come with it. Anything that you want to implement requires separate purchase of the items to complete your project. The Digital Aquatics Reefkeeper SL2 module has a new feature. It has the ability to measure salinity in your tank through the use of the salinity probe. You would be able to monitor salinity and make adjustments through programming the Reefkeeper controller. As previously mentioned, the salinity probe is a separate purchase from Digital Aquatics. On the back of the module are the usual two bus connection ports. There is no particular order needed for the cable connections. You can move your modules as needed once you have completed your programming. Just remember to keep track of your programming. We have an Excel spreadsheet at www.hitechreef.net to help you keep track of that information. The module also comes with a 6-foot bus cable and two printed sheets. One contains information about updating your firmware across the other modules and the controller head. The other contains the calibration process of the salinity probe on the Reefkeeper Lite and Elite models. Please don't lose these instructions. At the time we made this video, Digital Aquatics doesn't have any instructions available for either the SL2 module or the salinity probe online. This is your only copy. Visit us at www dot hightechreef.net. We're always releasing more information for the Reefkeeper series.